Welcome to the Indie Beacon Show, where readers can discover great new indie authors. Find us on all major podcast systems and YouTube. Join Diane Floyd Bone on today's show. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Diane Floyd Bone, award winning author, speaker, and actress. And today, our <laughs> guest is Patty York Raymond. Patty is a multi winning author and a native Texan. She is a speaker and a humanitarian. She does workshops and visits schools. She adds music and excitement <laughs> to all of her books. And I'm so excited for you to meet Patty York Raymond. Hello, everyone. How are you? Thank you so much, Diane. I'm well, excited it is to be a, here. <laughs> well, it is an honor to have you. Thank and I'm you. excited about everything we're going to talk about tonight. I hope we get to all of your books, but I was wondering if you could give us a snippet of your latest one that's about to come out. I love the title, but I'm going to let you say it. Aspire, Aspirar. That's recently been uh, published, so uh, it's out in bookstores now. And so Aspire, Aspirar is about a mother and daughter. It's, it's about their relationship. Um, it's also about a mother's hopes and dreams for her daughter's future. And what she does is she empowers her through everyday activities and gets her to think and wonder about what is it that she can do in life. I love that book. I was spending some time with it the other day. And, um, you know, there are a lot of books and, and I've, you know, taught school and was like, you're someone special. And now there's a book called that. But the twist that you did with that was just magical. And um, the way the mother inspires her and the illustrations um, and the song. So can you tell me <laughs> a tiny bit about the song? The song? Well, I was also a teacher and uh, I taught kindergarten, pre-K, second grade, and I could not teach without having wonderful books around us, um, having music and movement. And it just, uh, I think it inspires everyone. So when I first wrote my book, uh, the first one, I thought to myself, well, you know what? We need a song. And luckily for me, Eddie Cavazos, who is my cousin in San Antonio is, <laughs> is a, a songwriter so we got together and we wrote the songs and we got musicians and we went to the studio and I hope I can rattle off some names for you is that okay sure of course all right well the three studios for all three songs that we've uh, actually uh, produced it's from studio 50 wave maker studio and lost in sound studio and they're all in San Antonio um, the musicians were Josh, Jacob, and Eddie Cavazos, Rick Alvarez, Johnny Mendoza, Javi Garcia, Kevin Hernandez, Jorge Palomo, and <laughs> I'm sure there were a few more, but uh, it, it's just, uh, it's magical, as you were saying, but mm -hmm. what's magical is the way we were all able to come together, uh, Eddie and I, with, with the songs, putting it together, all the musicians going to the studio, and the singers, wow, mm -hmm. the singers are something else, so, I mean, we have Julissa Figueroa is the one that sings Aspire, Nathan Mathis is Take Me to the Ranch, mm -hmm. and then we also have hold on, hold on, Eddie Cavazos, and he sings, That's What My Grandma Said. I and, love that song. <laughs> <laughs> well, the kids love it too, and, and it just it just brings great joy in, in my heart to know that uh, kids are really enjoying them. And, and they do, but it's also the power of your books. So why don't you tell them a little bit about It's sure. Windy? <laughs> it's Too Windy. Well, I don't know if you can tell, uh, off to the side, I have a, a photo, a photo of family and all the cousins and the grandparents. And it's really based on a situation that really would happen. When my parents retired, they built a pool and they said, oh, we'll be able to get all the grandkids to come and, and uh, jump in the pool. Well, 
every time the kids would run out, my gra my grandmother, their grandmother, my mother would tell them, oh, it's too cloudy. Oh, it's too sunny. Oh, it's it looks like it's going to rain. And and so I thought to myself when she said it was too windy, I thought, mom, I'm going to have to write a book about this because it's just hilarious. <laughs> so that's how that one evolved. Um, it's it's about a grandmother who, who wants to redirect their kids and have them um, uh, just bond and play together because yes, you know, kids are so distracted nowadays. And uh, so just going out and playing with each other uh, and, and connecting with one another, uh, that's her goal. And I think she achieves that. Uh, she does. And you did a beautiful job and there's so much uh, enrichment you can do with that particular book with schools also from mm -hmm. temperature to uh, enjoying families and the power of families mm -hmm. and appropriate and, clothing, all of those things. Go ahead and, and I don't know if you noticed, but there's a lot of opportunity for the kids to make inferences. So mm -hmm. why does grandma, not, why doesn't grandma let them get into the pool? So you hear everything from maybe there's an alligator in the pool to she hasn't <laughs> cleaned the pool. And so it's just hilarious to hear uh, all the responses and it just gets them to start thinking and practicing how to make inferencing. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so glad you shared that. Mm -hmm. And the ranching one, how clever was that? You'll have to Thank share this title, but what inspired you for that book? I think the bond between a father and a son um, and uh, just just the idea of, of spending time together, uh, getting back to nature, um, connecting with themselves and, and their heritage and, and just having a ball, but he does get into a bit of trouble. I'll tell you a little <laughs> bit about it later. <laughs> Oh, that'll be good. Um, just, um, and what made you, in, inspire you to write that book before we go to a break? Well, they're all based on my family. So with the ABCs to ranching, well, it's too windy. They're all my nieces and nephews and, and two of my, are my own. Uh, the ABCs to ranching, it's my husband and my son that would go out to the ranch. And it, it, it does evolve around the alphabet. And But I didn't want it to be the typical ABC book. I wanted it to be a story from beginning to end, all the different activities he gets into. And of course, I wanted to make it funny, you know, him getting into all kinds of trouble. And, and uh, you know, the, the kids really love learning about animals and plants and the different activities that you can do at a ranch. So yeah. And so and you're in South Texas? South Texas. The ranch is in Zapata, Texas. Oh, and um, I take it you must speak Spanish? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. great. My husband does <laughs> too. It's very helpful. Yes. And it your is. books, they come in Spanish as well as English? The uh It's Too Windy does come in Spanish. Just recently I had that um printed in, in soft cover, both in English and in Spanish. So it's I'm I'm Hace mucho viento. Hace mucho viento. <laughs> to look. Hay <laughs> mucho viento. Sorry about that. Um, and then uh, the ABC's to ranch, you know, I didn't translate it, although there are some Spanish words sporadically throughout the book. But Aspire is a, well, that one's bilingual uh, of yeah. in itself. So that that's wonderful and so important these days, especially with us Texans. We're um, mm -hmm. multilingual in many ways. Yeah. Well, um, tell us. Um, um, about do you have a favorite character uh what in the books yeah or just in, in general books? or in I, general in general in general oh goodness well I love well I love children's books and so I, I like books where animals are the characters and that and I'll be getting into that later uh, my future oh. plan for the for the next uh book it'll be actually a series but I do love uh animals kids can relate to animals so so well and um you know whatever is bothering them um i think animals such as dogs are so therapeutic uh they brings out the best in all of us i think uh, animals do yes they do and on that note we mm -hmm. are going to take a break oh, sure. and listen to our sponsors and we'll be right back marianne fairmouth is a career consultant with 30 years experience in the national recruiting world a multi-award winning author in multi-genres, and a speaker that gives presentations to help you succeed. Her book, Revolutionary Recruiting, made the top 20 global list of recruiting books. Find her on Amazon, your favorite bookstore, or at fairmoth.com.
Lone Star Festival, where Texas authors, artists, and creatives come together for a Texas-sized event. Join us on May 29, 2021 from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Seguin Coliseum, Seguin, Texas, free for everyone. Produced by Texas Authors Institute of History, sponsored by B4R.Store, Authors Marketing Guild, and the City of Seguin. More information at LoneStar.BookFestival.Network. Factor 7, the newest thriller by author J.D. May will keep you turning the pages with mystery, betrayal, lies, and infidelity. Ripped from the headlines, Factor 7 follows two prominent doctors who uncover a clandestine plot to spread a bioweapon with a 98% mortality rate. Journey with them as they experience a world of murder, power, entry, and corruption, where it becomes deadly clear that exposing the truth is just as dangerous as the weapon they seek to expose. Hello, I am the author Denise Bryson. My first book is The Things That Crossed My Mind, Inspirational Poetry with Life Lessons. And then my audio book is Love's Reality. And it is also inspirational poetry with a jazzy flair. And then my new book is The Sex, The Lies, and The Soul Ties. They're really short stories uh, written from a poetic uh, expression. And then I have my first children book series, the Blinky series, which the first book is called Meet the Coins, and it is both in English and Spanish. And then the new book uh, from Coins the bills. I am the author, Denise Bryson. Welcome to the Indie Beacon Show, where readers can discover great new indie authors. Find us on all major podcast systems and YouTube. Join Diane Floyd Bone on today's show. Well, welcome back. We Thank have uh, author Patty York Raymond, and it's so exciting to mm -hmm. have the privilege to uh, interview you and let you tell us all about your books. We were finishing up with one of your books and you were sharing um, how much you enjoy animals and so forth. But um, I'd like to go back to that ranting one for a moment. <laughs> okay. I'm actually excited about that one um, on a personal note. So mm -hmm. I want my little uh, grandson to- um, Oh, how wonderful. For mm -hmm. sure, because he's always around cattle. So, oh, great. Um, I tell you what, I mean, there's nothing like being out outdoors, uh, whatever your troubles are. It's like mm, they're just lifted, right? Um, yeah. Especially for kids. Uh, they need that connection. But the ABCs to ranching, um, it's centered around the alphabet, as I was mentioning, <clears throat> and it involves all the different activities that the little boy is doing. So at the beginning, he's looking for arrowheads mm -hmm. and and uh, and then he moves on to helping his dad. Uh, fix a barbed wire fence and so that's how it goes a story all the way through it just doesn't say arrowhead barbed wire it's so it's a progression of all the different activities he he is uh participating in and his dad is is watching him very carefully and make sure he's okay but, but but connecting again with with everything around him um i do want to say that uh i did bring multi-generational uh family members within that book. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there is a great grandfather mm -hmm. in that book that's portrayed mm -hmm. at the very end. There's some family pictures and the kids love to see like that's that's that boy is or that man now is mm -hmm. really that boy that's in the mm -hmm. in the book. And I go, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So th they love to know uh, that it, it is about my family. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about all the animals. And as a matter of fact, I, um, I created a Loteria game so they can practice the names of all the different animals. Uh, there's also a giddy up playing card set um, so they can play instead of go fish, they'll say giddy up. And, and, oh, that's so <laughs> cute. That's very so, clever. Uh, and I, I just love, again, playing cards and, and things like that. So, uh, you know, and in the classroom, teachers really appreciate that sort of thing. So, so can kids yes. uh, or parents order those cards? They sure can. That is only in my website because I get that okay. aside, you know, uh, from the publisher. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yes, they, they can order all that through pattyraymondbooks.com. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna have to make sure to order <laughs> those for sure. So tell me a little bit about your writing. Do you do all your own editing or do you hire someone? Well, I. I've gone through a publisher that does a hybrid 
type of, mm -hmm. of uh, publishing. So I do uh, edit a lot of it, but of course they do have a professional editor and we go back and forth, back and forth until I'm, I'm fully satisfied with it and, and they are as well. But uh, yeah, I, I don't want to depend on just my eyes. I mean, it's, it's forever, although, you know, we have second edition, third edition, so we make whatever mm -hmm. corrections we need to, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, yes, definitely. I, I like to uh, have, be a little hands-on with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm the same way. And mm -hmm. um, so you, you mentioned you did hybrid publishing. Was there ever a moment you did not want to self-publish or are you really happy you did the self-publishing? Uh, I'm really happy I did because I started, I've always wanted to write children's books, um, but I didn't feel I could do that full time. So I waited till I retired. And of course, I'm not really retired as, as the kids say, but um I, I I wanted to, I, I didn't want to wait a whole long. I didn't feel like I had years and years to wait for somebody to feel it was worthwhile. And meanwhile, somebody plasters a book in no time just because they're a celebrity. Um, so I said, you know what? I don't have that kind of time. So mm -hmm. I did my research and, and I found a publishing company, Mascot Publishing uh, or Mascot Books. And, and uh, I went with them because they provide what I need help with. Mm -hmm. And and then I do the marketing and I do, you know, I'm used to going to schools and, and making presentations. I take materials and and uh, all kinds of um, uh, artifacts for the kids to view. And, and so I think I can make the biggest contribution there mm -hmm. uh, as well as writing the book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to begin and I'm with. sure you do. Um, it's always helpful, I think, when we... Um, authors of, have been in school because we feel mm -hmm. like it's our home um, yes. when we get there we feel very comfortable with the mm -hmm. kiddos and, yes uh, so speaking yes. with them I did do you miss them. Um, do any of the illustrations or did you find it hard to find an illustrator actually the publishing company provided me with some portfolios so i chose from there so whoever you know i had a first second third choice whoever if the first uh my first choice wasn't available we'd go on to the second one so you know uh chiara uh Savarisi is the illustrator for aspire aspirar uh nancy foley oster is the illustrator for the abc's to ranching and of course who dipped descupta is for it's too windy and i think they did a marvelous job oh they sure did mm -hmm. they really did and um so how did it feel the very first time you held your book your first book Oh my goodness, uh, I videotaped it. <laughs> it came in and I said, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So yes, uh, it's still on my website. Um, but uh, yeah, I, it never gets old. No. And I, I took a picture of it when it was first at Barnes and Noble. And, and uh, it's like, oh my God, you know, it's, it's just the most wonderful feeling. And that's the kind of feeling when I was in the classroom, I wanted the kids to have when they would make their own books and we put them on the shelf and right. get all excited that they could go back and read them. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it doesn't it's not any different for us as adults. Right. 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 No, <laughs> the, it's the not. joy and the exhilaration and uh, <laughs> the excitement. It's all there. And I'm sure your family's very, very proud of you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they probably get we, tired of me. Let, let me tell you one more thing. Another idea I have. <laughs> but, uh, and when do you get your ideas? Do you morning, noon, oh, in the middle of the night? In, sometimes in the middle of the night. Um, I, I shouldn't do this, but I just roll over, get my notes from, you know, my, my phone, iPhone, and I will jot some ideas uh, down so that I don't forget. On your but, phone? Uh, on my phone. Wow, that's amazing. I'm not, I didn't have to be reaching for glasses or something, but I certainly have my you bring paper the phone and phone up really me. close. <laughs> well, that is wonderful. I'm sure everyone relates to that completely. <laughs> so um, we've, we've talked about um, three of your books, and I know mm -hmm. I really want to get to, um, before we close, um, this segment, and then we'll enrich it even more. But would you okay. like to do just a snippet of the one that you're going to be coming out with soon? 
Um, are, you, are you talking about Aspire or Aspirad? You, you're what, talking about the Shaggy Sleuth series, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. That, that one's a little, a little ways off. Oh, okay. Uh, but so yes, but I, 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 I did the logo and I incorporated the characters in there. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, people are going to look at the logo and say, why are all these dogs all around, you know? So mm -hmm. I, 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 that's why I put Shaggy Sleuth series coming soon. But mm -hmm. it, they're, they're, they're going to be in a, a representative of a, a detective agency and so all the characters are going to be dogs um <laughs> i may lay that let in a cat or two i'm not sure but anyway uh yes and they're you gonna always have to have a villain right <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> cat burglar um but <laughs> but uh yes yeah, well, so the cat was pretty cute in our day <laughs> yeah and so they're going to be solving all kinds of mm -hmm. um uh, mysteries and I think the kids are going to get a, a real uh, kick out of them um, yeah. but yeah definitely uh, it's exciting I'm still working on that I, I do have a, a couple of uh, other children's books mm -hmm. that are going to be published probably before the Shaggy Sleuth series I've got oh, a tenacious okay. teacher who wow. swallowed a sticker mm -hmm. um, and uh, I have the, Sh the Sock Club which is uh, also within a year or two, these two will be out. And then oh, I'm going to concentrate so completely on the Shaggy Sleuth series because I, I walked in this um, writing experience with a number of books, the ideas of what I wanted to put out. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm done there, I'm, I'm ready to move on to, to the Shaggy Sleuth series. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but I'm working on it. I'm working yeah. on it, but I'm one of those that I can work on several things at the same time, but then I, I need to focus on getting one thing out and marketing it um, and then coming back and, and uh, continuing to write. I understand completely. And on that note, we're going to go back to our sponsors and then oh, we'll get okay. right back to you, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Publishing Marketing Package for Authors, $1,500 value, save 40% now, includes a six-piece marketing kit of 250 bookmarks, 250 business cards, 250 postcards, one table banner, one table runner, and 50 download cards, plus book cover design, ebook creation, PDF setups, upload to Ingram Spark, scroll placement, video commercial, and interview on IBS, plus much more. Email bourgeoismedia at look.com for details or bourgeoismedia.com. Hi, I'm Mel Greenberg, author of Running With Our Eyes Closed, book one in the Empty Nested series. To the world, Samantha has the perfect life. Three wonderful children, a loving husband, so she thought, and a life split between Dallas and Italy. When her youngest leaves for college, it all comes crashing down, forcing Samantha to re-examine everything. Over seven days in one of the most romantic countries in the world, Samantha faces the past she thought she'd overcome and begins to redefine her role as a woman, a wife, and a mother. What would you do if you had to put your life on hold to care for a loved one? Well, during COVID, almost all of us have been doing just that. I'm Charlotte Canyon, award-winning author, actress, and speaker. And my book, you have to laugh to keep from crying, shows you how you can revive, thrive, and survive with four golden rules. You have to love one another. You have to respect one another. You have to have patience with one another. And most of all, you've got to forgive one another. I'm Charlotte Canyon, and I approve this message. Welcome to the Indie Beacon Show, where readers can discover great new indie authors. Find us on all major podcast systems and YouTube. Join Diane Floyd Bone on today's show. Well, we are back <laughs> with our wonderful author, Patty York Raymond, and she's going to share with us more information about her new book, Aspire. Welcome back, Patty. Thank you. Aspire, Aspirar. I, I had that book in my head for the longest time, uh, but I got out the, uh, you know, the, the, the one I figured I had to get out first, it's too windy, and then the ABC is too ranching, and then I wanted to write about, since the ABC is too ranching was about the bond between a father and daughter, now, I mean, father and son, now Aspire is about the bond between a mother and a daughter, but again, empowering her daughter to see what is out there for her, the opportunities she has. And I especially wanted 
to um, promote the book during International Women's History Month. Um, so we can all talk about our daughters and, and inspire them to dream big. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's, it's uh, you know, so many activities that they participate in, um, things that I think mothers can relate to that they do with their mm -hmm. daughters. But that activity itself, I would think long and hard, what, uh, what kind of a career could they go into gardening? Or what kind of a career can they... Uh, uh, can they go into uh, doing their mother's uh, face, you know, facial or whatever, um, or even going to the museum? What kind mm -hmm. of a career could she go into? Mm -hmm. So I, I portrayed them in those illustrations. And then I had the illustrator um, play, uh, place her, uh, the clothing appropriate to that career. Mm -hmm. So there can be some discussion about what kind of a career that little girl is representing mm -hmm. um, and what it takes to become a paleontologist or uh, astronaut, astron uh, uh, astronomer or zoologist, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought it would be a, a, a great opening for career day, for Women's History Month, and just because. And just because, I love it. <laughs> and, and you touched on so many things that um, I thought was exciting about your book. Um, the softness of the job was portrayed within the illustrations, mm -hmm. for example, um, the zoologist, the way she was feeding. You just felt this warm, <laughs> cuddly feeling. Mm -hmm. I love that. And then you'd go to another one and you saw the excitement, <laughs> you know, and so the illustrator did a phenomenal job. She and, sure, yes, sure did. And, but the way you wrote it was so wonderful. It wasn't like, I'm going to be an astronaut and I'm going to fly up to the sky. I mean, <laughs> you really, you could tell the mm -hmm. thought and it, <clears throat> it's, I really want the listeners to know that when yes. they read your book, they are going to be inspired and educators can use this book in so many powerful mm -hmm. ways and at all ages, not just yes. for young kids. Yes, definitely. I mean, sixth graders deserve to be um, mm -hmm. inspired as well. So yes. kudos on that and the song, of course. Thank you. Thank you so much. And and I really wanted mom to... to um, compliment her daughter and, and, and indicate all her positive traits. You're inquisitive. Mm -hmm. um, you're kind hearted. You're ambitious. All mm -hmm. those traits that we want in a person, mm -hmm. um, a good person to grow up and, and, and do wonderful things in their community. So um, yeah, I, I, I thought uh, those are the kind of things that we as aspire for our, our children. Right. And, and, and that comes through because she, the mom is so supportive um, because it's like, you can be whatever you want to be and I'll be right there for you. So again, kudos. Uh, the few minutes we have left, um, is there any advice you would like to give to people um, considering uh, becoming an indie author? All I can say is go for it. Mm -hmm. Um, the longer you wait, the longer it's going to take for you to do that. And, and you know what? You don't have to like it. It's not going to happen overnight. I think it's important for everyone to know. I was writing way before uh, I published. So uh, write for the joy of it. To, I consider myself more of a storyteller. So I like telling stories. And then I, I'll just put them aside. And, and, and when it became feasible for me to, to actually publish, um, wow, what a what a joy that was. So mm -hmm. I would just tell an aspiring writer just to know that it does take time, be patient, learn all you can and learn from authors, other authors such as yourself and, and, and uh, see how they're doing it. Um, so yeah, definitely Excellent. go for it. Excellent. Excellent <laughs> words of wisdom for sure. And in closing, tell us how we can order your books, please. Well, my books can be found everywhere. Uh, for sure, uh, books for readers, Amazon, uh, Barnes and Noble. Don't forget pattyraymondbooks.com where you can find a lot of the other materials uh, for the classroom or for kids to interact with. So they can be found everywhere. And uh, I'm only a phone call away and my uh, uh, they can contact me through my uh, website again, pattyraymondbooks.com. But don't forget books for readers.
books for readers. That's mm-hmm. right. And also we can go to your website if we want to invite you to come to our schools, correct? Oh, definitely. Yes. Yes. You can also uh, just let me know what you're needing and I will get right back to you. Thank you for bringing that up. Mm-hmm. It's very important. So <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much for joining us, Patty. It's been such a pleasure you, to have Diane. you. And I hope you'll come back and be on the show again. I Definitely will. about your new series when you're ready. <laughs> and that's it for the Indie Beacon Show thank today. You. I'm your host, Diane Floyd Bain. Bye-bye, Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching or listening to the Indie Beacon Show produced by Beyond Bourgeois for the Authors Marketing International LLC. Copyright 2021. It's over by Beyond Bourgeois. If you would like to be a sponsor of the show, please email us at authorsmarketing at outlook.com. If you would like to be on the show, please complete the form found on our website at indiebeacon.com. You may also watch previous year's shows on the website. Music is Solid of Words created for Indie Beacon. 